Yeah, I think we went close to 10 minutes without scoring, and I'm not 100% sure I, that's a, that I've ever been a part of that. And uh, but that that those are those are the things that we do that that basically put ourselves in such a terrible position to win games. I mean, you you can you, you can you have to be able to sustain runs from other teams when you go on a drought. But you have to find a way to score to the basketball or get to the foul line in a 10-minute stretch. But, you know, the group that played the last, the last quarter and a half, I thought tremendous effort, tremendous grit, you know, gave us an opportunity to get back in the game. I think at one point we cut it to five or six. And then, of course, you know, when you pressure, there's, an op there's a chance that you're going to give up something easy. But, you know, credit to them because when we did get – we when they did beat the pressure, they either finished at the rim or they made a big shot. But, you know, that's what good teams do. But to see the kids fight back and show the persistence that they showed, you know, I think goes a long way towards uh, where we're trying to build this program because there were a lot of young kids on the floor during that time. What were uh, some of the adjustments you made going into the second half, specifically? Well, specifically, we, we looked at the way we were going about their zone. I mean, they were doubling Macy out of the zone every time she, she touched the basketball. So we knew we had to get the ball inside the paint area and work inside out. So we made some adjustments on switching up uh, who was at the high post and who was low kind of X'd out our post players, which allowed us to get some inside out. We even ran some short corner action. Uh, you know, I think Hannah made one really nice 15-footer uh, from the baseline. But, uh, you know, we had opportunities, especially when we were making our run, that we did get the ball inside out and had opportunities, really, really good looks at three and didn't make them. But, you know, that's, that's one, been one of the Achilles heel of this team is in the uh, preseason – or non-conference schedule, we're shooting the basketball lights out. We're scoring 80 points a game. And then now that we're in the conference season, a lot of times we seem to struggle uh, with our shooting percentages. So, again, it's just find, being able to find that rhythm and find players that are going to consistently be able to give us the same thing each and every night. I think that's our biggest problem right now is we're so inconsistent. Coach, I know um, one of the stats you'll probably look at tonight, Lex Mays, a lot of open three-point opportunities, but in the second half just drew iron and could not connect. What type of a conversation do you have with Lex uh, in trying to keep her confidence because there's still eight, nine games left in conference play? Well, you know, during the game at one point I called her over and I said, you forget about the ones you shot, the next one's going in. I mean, you have to, you have to try – to make shooters understand that they have to continue to shoot the basketball. And then you try to pump confidence in them in order to help them to be able to believe that that shot's going in. You give her those nine shots again, she's liable to make five. But, you know, tonight it just, the ball just wouldn't go in the basket. And then and those, those are opportunities against a good basketball team. When you get those open shots, you have to make them. And then, you know, we're three of 20 from three. And, uh, and that's just not going to be good enough to beat good teams. Back-to-back -back games, uh, Hannah McKay has had some solid performances off the bench. Uh, what are you seeing from her in the last couple of games? Well, I think she's just finally getting back, you know, after the COVID protocol and the ankle injuries. She's just now starting to get her rhythm back. But, you know, she played tonight the way we've seen her play early. And so we're hoping that now that she's kind of getting her uh, – her uh, mojo, for lack of a better term, kind of back and getting back into the flow of things after being out for so long that we're hoping that she could continue to bring that to us because if she can give us that energy and that effort and give us that extra scoring and rebounding, that's going to help us not only the rest of the way this year as we're trying to put ourselves in position to be able to compete in the tournament for a, for a championship, but she's just a freshman, so really excited about what she can do. Just hope we just got to try to keep her healthy and make sure that we continue to give her opportunities to get those reps that she need that she missed out on early on. Coach, did you know at halftime uh, with such a tough deficit after that second quarter that you were going to employ eight to ten minutes of press, or was that just something the third quarter went along? No, we knew we were we knew that we were going to uh, try to buy a few minutes, but then we we that's all we talked about at halftime is who was going to be where on the pressure, and how we were going to rotate out of the pressure, and then what we were going to rotate into uh, in the half court. 
Uh, and so, you know, we understood. Uh, we went back with the starting lineup, knowing that that meant not necessarily our best pressing lineup, but we wanted to try to get a couple stops by doubling some ball screens and, and running some specific sets that we were comfortable with. And then once we, we scored, uh, you know, some coming out uh, – in the third quarter, but then they continue, they continue to score the basketball. So it knew it was time that we had to, to at least try to turn uh, defense into offense. And so we kind of knew we were going to do that at halftime because when you're struggling to score, you got to figure out other ways to score. And sometimes it helps to speed the other team up. But again, they made big plays and made big shots when they needed to.